My name is Mr. Wilson, and it's my pleasure to help introduce a new and wonderful outdoor classroom to Brunswick High School. It's called the Atlantic Ocean. This classroom literally connects us to the rest of the world while also linking us to our nearby history. An example of this connection is our town seal. Brunswick, Maine has four individuals on our town seal. The most inconspicuous is surely the shellfish harvester also known as the Clam Digger. With over 60 miles of coastline in Brunswick, shellfish harvesting has a deep history within our community. The harvester's story is a story worth telling and a story worth examining, which is why we are once again turning to our shores for life lessons in outdoor classrooms, starting with nearby McQuay Bay, whose waters emanate from our Atlantic Ocean. McQuay Bay, which is Native American for bear place, is a place where many of our families have visited, and we see it almost every day. My family has spent four generations harvesting from the bay. It's very likely that you'll spend time on this bay in one of your classes soon, thanks to a grant that Brunswick High received last summer. Brunswick High School was awarded a large grant from Maine EPSCORE's CNET program, which has allowed us to have preliminary equipment such as boots and other training to start using McQuait Bay as an outdoor classroom. Some of these monies allowed me and Mr. McCullough to be trained at the Down East Institute for Applied Marine Research and Education. It was there that we began to learn more about green crab infestation, the world of growing clams, and also growing oysters and lobsters in the lab. It's also there that the important element of networking emerged with connections to statewide professionals such as Professor Dr. Brian Beal, who's spearheading some of the most exciting research in these areas. Dr. Brian Beal is a professor of marine ecology at the University of Maine at Machias. We met with Dr. Beal in Freeport at the Harrisicket Wharf and helped him inventory species that he had collected through his veal boxes. Our visit and training at DEI led us to our first major network connection. Chris Warner and Georgetown's Softshell Clam Farm, a first of its kind in Maine. We learned by this visit that we wanted to use this farm as a model for establishing a similar one on McQuay Bay. We also learned an important lesson about how real science and conservation works by cooperation and education. We met Jay Holt, the riparian landowner who allows this farm to exist, as well as Ethel Wilkerson, a scientist for Manomet, and of course, Chris Warner, the harvester. These three together are making the human triangle of difference, helping turn the tide on the green crab invasion and thus preserving a way of life in an important local economy in Maine. Our most important networks are local networks that we've established, which include Dan Devereaux, Brunswick's Marine Resource Officer, Susan Alcott, resident and grant writer, our local shellfish harvesters, scientists like Darcy Couture, and teachers like myself and Mr. McCullough. With the funds from this grant, students from Brunswick High School will have an opportunity to do exciting field research and data collection on clam species, green crabs, and other ecological marine subjects. You know, if you put a trap down and you see a lot of um, snails around where the trap is, make sure trap number one, a lot of snails. Um, the GPS point, the, con the where where it is. Um, we'll have also have um, uh, some stakes that you guys can put in um, to right where the trap is. So the game plan here today with the traps, and that's all we're pretty much doing is setting the traps. I marked out. You guys see where 
See that like little square footprint area out there? I marked that out. That's, that, that's the farm site. We don't want to go in the farm site. Well, I'm going to be easy on you guys today. Um, we tried those and don't work. As Mr. McCullough, BHS science teacher, can tell you, this type of learning is invaluable for his students. This grant provides important opportunities for clearly sustainable data collection in BHS science classrooms. Mr. McCullough's marine science students checked and collected green crabs from traps for a full semester and were able to gather important information about the relative densities of this invasive species in McCoy Bay. Green crab specimens were examined in classroom laboratories and relevant information on crab genders, size, and color patterns were recorded. This information will be incorporated into ongoing studies in the spring, summer, and fall of 2016. This study provides a critical experience for high school students in allowing them access to advanced field data collection techniques and materials and real-world connections not usually found in a typical high school classroom. Time to put your boots on!